Had to knit the woven circles stitch. English style, left-handed. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles, a cable needle, and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Mountain Metal Wool, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Laramie line in the color teal. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, twist for front, twist for back. To begin this stitch, you must cast on in multiples of 8 plus 2. Row 1. Beginning on the right side of our work, we're going to purl 3. Then we're going to knit 4. Next we're going to start our repeat by purling 4. And we'll continue by knitting 4. So we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the last three stitches in our row. Okay, when we reach the last three stitches, we're going to purl three. Row two. We're going to begin by knitting three. Then we're going to purl four. Then we're going to start our repeat by knitting four. We'll finish our repeat by purling four. Okay, we're gonna repeat this sequence until we reach the last three stitches in our row. And when we reach the last three stitches in our row, we're going to knit three. Row three, we're gonna begin by purling one. Then we're gonna start our repeat by doing a twist four back. So we're gonna take our cable needle here, or our double pointed needle, we're gonna slip the next two stitches onto our cable needle and we're gonna hold that behind our work. Then we're going to knit the next two stitches from our main needle. And then we're going to purl the two stitches from our cable needle. So depending on how you prefer to hold your needle, this cable needle is a little bit different than others. So there's one and two. Okay, then we're going to do a cable for front, twist for front, sorry. So we're going to slip the next two stitches onto our cable needle. We'll hold that in front of our work. Then we're going to purl the next two stitches from our main needle. And then we'll knit the two stitches from our cable needle. Okay, and we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way across until the end to the last stitch in our row.
And when we get to the last stitch in our row, we are going to purl one. Row four, we're gonna begin by knitting one. Then we're gonna purl two. Then we'll start our repeat by knitting four. And we'll finish our repeat by purling four. So we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the last three stitches in our row. When we reach the last three stitches in our row, we're going to purl two and then knit one. Row five, we're gonna begin by purling one. Then we're going to knit two, and then purl four. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat by knitting four. And we'll finish by purling four. Okay, we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the last three stitches in our row. And when we reach the last three stitches in our row, we're going to knit two, and then purl one. Row six, we're gonna repeat row four, so we'll begin by knitting one, then we're going to purl two, Then we'll start our repeat by knitting four. And we'll finish our repeat by purling four. So we'll repeat the sequence until we reach the last three stitches in our row. And when we reach the last three stitches in our row, we're going to purl two, and then knit one. Row seven. We're gonna begin by purling one. Then we're gonna start our repeat by doing a twist four forward. So we're gonna take our cable needle, and I find with these hook style needles, it's easier to use the short end of the hook to slip your stitches off. So we're gonna slip two off onto our cable needle. We're gonna hold this in front. Then we're going to purl the next two stitches from our main needle. And we'll knit the two stitches from our cable needle. So I'm just gonna, whoops, we lost our stitches there. Okay, so here I'm gonna just move the stitches to the end of this cable needle so it's a little bit easier to work from. And then we'll knit the two stitches from the cable needle. Okay, now we're gonna do a twist four back. So again, we'll slip the two stitches onto our cable needle here. We're gonna hold that behind our work. Just let that hang there for a second. We'll knit the two stitches from our main needle. And then we're gonna knit the two stitches from our cable needle. So again, I'm just gonna work those stitches to the end of the cable needle. And we're gonna purl these two from our cable needle. All right, so we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way across until we reach the last stitch in our row. 
And when we reach the last stitch in our row, we're going to purl one. Row eight, we're gonna repeat row two. So we'll begin by knitting three. Then we are going to purl four. And we'll start our repeat by knitting four. And we will finish our repeat by knitting four, or purling four, sorry. Okay, so we're going to repeat the, this sequence until the last three stitches in our row. And when we reach the last three stitches in our row, we're going to knit three. So repeat rows one through eight until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you knit the woven circles cable stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more knitting today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newstitchaday.com/vip.